Welcome back to Good Night Lighthouse. I'm Miss Dorothy and I'm here to read you another story. And I've got a real groovy story for you tonight. That's right, it's another Pete the Cat book. And tonight, Pete's going on an adventure in the ocean, under the sea. Because this is called Pete the Cat, Scuba Cat. Pete the Cat, Scuba Cat. Pete's going scuba diving. That means he puts on all this special equipment, he jumps off a boat, and he goes way far down under the water. That's where you can see all kinds of fascinating things. I wonder what Pete sees. I wonder what he's looking for. Wow, we've got to get in this book and read all about Pete's scuba diving adventure. Are you ready to get into this fun book with Miss Dorothy? Good, I need you to sit up. And listen up, because here we go. Pete the Cat, Scuba Pete, written by James Dean. Pete the Cat is excited. He is going scuba diving. Pete puts on a mask and fins. He has a tank full of air. He hopes to see lots of fish. Wow, look at Pete. He's ready to jump into the big sea. And he has all that equipment so he can scuba dive. If you're lucky, you might see a seahorse, says Captain Joe. A seahorse, says Pete. I can't wait. I never saw one before. Ooh, Pete would love to see a seahorse. Their ridges look like a horse's mane, says Captain Joe. Groovy, says Pete. Pete jumps into the water. Splash! Down, down, down he goes. Up, up, up go the bubbles. Pete looks for a seahorse. He sees a swordfish. Pete swims out of its way. Look at that swordfish. It has a long, sharp nose. Pete gets out of his way. And what's that behind Pete? He doesn't see it. Pete waves to a stingray. It has a long, skinny tail. That's not a seahorse, thinks Pete. Pete looks high and low for the seahorse. Then he feels a tickle. Hmm, what tickled Pete? Pete sees a school of fish. They all look alike, except for one. It puffs up. It's a blowfish. It's not a seahorse. Look at that big green blowfish. Those are so neat because they blow up like a balloon. And Pete doesn't see the seahorse. Do you see the seahorse? Where could one be? Pete looks in the rocks. What is that? It's an octopus. It has eight legs. It is not a seahorse. Pete feels a tickle. What could it be? Pete turns. He sees a cave. Is there a seahorse inside? I don't know if there's a seahorse inside, but I think there's a seahorse outside. Pete sees a crab with claws. A seahorse does not have claws, Pete thinks. The cave is getting darker. Pete feels a tickle. Then he sees an eel. Pete swims past it. It's too long to be a seahorse. Oh no, it is too dark to see. How will Pete get out? Pete sees a jellyfish. It glows in the dark. Pete is almost out of the cave. He sees an angelfish. It is very colorful. Pete is out of the cave. So why is it so dark? Pete is in a shadow. He is in the shadow of a whale. Yikes! Pete wishes he could jump on a seahorse and ride away. Pete hops on a sea turtle instead. And it takes him to the boat. I do not see a seahorse, thinks Pete. He feels a tickle on his tail. A seahorse! cries Pete. What a surprise! <laughs> Pete's so silly. It's been there the whole time. 
You were with me all along, says Pete. What a cool adventure. Pete had such a good time, and all he wanted to see was a seahorse. But the seahorse was there the whole time, and Pete didn't even know it. He kept, the seahorse kept tickling him, and Pete's like, I don't see a seahorse. I saw the seahorse. Did you see the seahorse? Pete was so busy looking at all the other great, wonderful things under the sea that he didn't notice the seahorse till the very end. But then he finally saw it, and what a great adventure he had. Scuba diving is so much fun. Maybe that's something you can do when you get bigger. You know, going in the ocean is pretty exciting. There's so many neat things under the sea. We'll have to see about doing that sometime. Just like Pete the Scuba Cat. This was a lot of fun. I'm so glad you came to read with Miss Dorothy tonight. I love when we get to read a groovy Pete the Cat book. I love every time we get together to read. But for tonight, it's time for all my little kitty cats to dive into bed. I need you to get under your covers, get cuddled up, curled up, ready for a really good night's sleep. And tomorrow, when you're out swimming around or whatever it is you're doing, remember, obey and obey right away. And then come back and see Miss Dorothy. I'm going to be sitting right here, ready to read another book to you. Bye! Thanks for reading with Miss Dorothy. I hope you enjoyed this book. And I hope you'll come back soon to read another. What's your favorite book? Drop Miss Dorothy a note and let me know. I'll go find it and I'll read it to you. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. I'll see you soon.